This video will look at the history skill of change. Uh, so in history, we we analyse change by looking at before and after an event, uh, which is absolutely crucial because you can't talk about how something has changed without talking about what comes before in history. You should also, of course, as always, use facts to prove your points. There's no point in being a historian if you don't use your evidence. So we'll try one all together. So how have you changed since primary school? Now, I've done my version. Since primary school, I've changed a lot. At primary school, I was small and very quiet. So that's my before. So before primary school. After primary school, I went to secondary school, sixth form, and got my history degree, then became a teacher. So that's my after. So before, at primary school, I was small and quiet. After primary school, I went to secondary school, sixth form, and did a degree. But then I go one step further, and I really explain the change. This is a huge change, because now I literally talk for a living, whereas before, I was very introverted, which just means quiet. So I've got my before, my after, and then I've assessed the change. Now it's time for you to have a go. How has technology changed from the 1960s to now? And I've just given you some examples of a 1960s computer, the first commercially available computer game, which is Pong in 1972, and an original mobile phone, uh, which, yes, we are aware is massive. So have a go. You need to explain what technology was like before the 1960s to what it's like now. So for this one, I've kept the evidence the same, but I've changed the question. How has technology changed children's free time from the 1960s to now? So you might be able to talk about things like outdoor play before the 1960s, but then you should be definitely be talking about uh, all these changes in technology nowadays. 